What's up guys, Jason here with feelawesomecompany.com and in this video I'm going to go over the benefits of magnesium for headaches and migraines as well as how much magnesium you actually need. And so the first thing is that magnesium has been shown to uh, help reduce both the frequency and severity of uh, various types of headaches including uh, migraine with aura, migraines without aura, chronic migraines, uh, cluster headaches, and chronic tension type headaches. And so two of the main things that magnesium does is that it helps to balance calcium and reduce inflammation. And this is important because if you have too high of a calcium to magnesium ratio, this can create hyperexcitability within neurons that could uh, trigger the release of certain neuropeptides that can uh, increase uh, cerebral vasodilation accompanied by uh, mast cell degranulation, blood vessel edema, increased vascular permeability, and inflammation which can then lead to headaches and migraines. Also, if you're uh, deficient in magnesium, this can be a contributing factor to what's known as a cortical spreading depression, which this is when you have an intense depolarization of neuronal and glial membranes, which can cause just a massive release of glutamate and, and potassium, and can also increase uh, intracellular sodium and calcium, which this can ultimately lead to headache and migraine pathogenesis. Now, there's a lot more that magnesium does for helping to improve headache symptoms, but I wanna get into how much magnesium you actually need. And so, most adults need anywhere between 310 and 420 milligrams of elemental magnesium per day. However, if you're currently uh, magnesium deficient, then you may need more than this, at least temporarily. And in some cases, people have needed to supplement with an additional 600 to 1000 milligrams of magnesium a day. Now, I'm not saying you need to take that much because that is a very high dose but in some cases that's how much was needed in order to find relief. Now with uh, magnesium you should try to get it through your diet but if your diet is lacking then you can add in a magnesium supplement to compensate and I just want you to know that with magnesium supplements they're not pure elemental magnesium and there's a lot of different types of magnesium supplements out there and each type has a different percentage of elemental magnesium and also a, a different level of bioavailability so depending on the specific supplement you choose you're going to want to figure out how much magnesium you're actually getting from it now if you want to learn more about magnesium the different types of magnesium and other related topics check out my other videos on this channel and then I will see you in the next one. Peace.